Okay, I see I am recording, so let me click into the game that it's a little wonky for reasons. Um, but it's Mirror's Edge. We actually don't see it here. Um, but yeah, it's a little wonky because it I can only do it in full screen. Um, apparently there's a way to get borderless full screen, but it like involves using other software and doing stuff that I don't really want to do. Uh, but um, yeah, is that and also um, I cannot play it at. 24 8 by 11, 52. The scaling in this game is broken. I'll, I'll just leave it at that for just a moment. Yeah, so I'm doing Mirror's Edge, and I'm doing with the Heartbreak Monitor, even though this is not a horror game. But, it's... Um, it is still gonna be a somewhat stressful game, especially because I do not like heights. So, depending, there might be times when it's like, oh, I do not want to be looking down now. Um, but it is also I'm using using this as an excuse to play, play the game because I do enjoy the game. I've played it two or three times before, but it's been years since the last time I played it. Long enough, I do not remember everything. In it. There are some sections that I, that I do kind of remember, but uh, that'd be. It. But coming back to the scaling thing, I actually noticed this back when I played it, the time I reviewed it. So this is also going to be a Let's Play Plus, not just a, a Body and Games video. Um, but at 2048 by 1150 my monitor's native resolution, the performance tanked, and I eventually figured out it was actually some weird thing to do with the physics. Like, if I turned that off, it was fine, but it's also, if I go to 24 by 1152, it's like it's actually rendering it at a lower resolution than upscaling it, instead of rendering it native. And I don't want to do that, because it's just wonky. Yes. Um, but also, when I launched it just now, I was like, oh, I'm 1680 by 1050, because that's what you should have. It's like, I have no idea where I got that. I really don't. Alright, so... Yeah, let me also quickly... Okay, so there are... Why is... Oh, that's right, because I've never done speed. Okay, so there are nine... Chapters. And the prologue. Okay. Okay, then that... I couldn't remember. So that that's actually perfect. That should give me ten parts then. So I'll still record, but I'm not gonna stick too closely to. It. So if, when I say record, I mean record the time. I'm still gonna have the time going. I don't know why I said record. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah, because I want to make sure everything everything's right. Uh, normal's fine. Once, the city used to pulse with energy. Dirty and dangerous, but alive and wonderful. Now, it's something else. The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realize, or didn't care, and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. Some didn't. And those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines. Criminalized. They became our clients. We call ourselves runners. We exist on the edge, between the gloss and the reality. The mirror's edge. We keep out of trouble, out of sight, and the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits, possibilities, and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. Training time, Faith. Yeah, I know you hate it, but that fall took you out of commission for a while. Now you're back, you gotta keep sharp, especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds, pretty slick, huh? So let's not run around duty, so get to her and just go with the flow, okay? I am just, like, adjusting. I didn't have my hand on the mask. I know it's weird, but it does make some sense. It, that shift is that. Because you basically are always going to run. And I do have Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I've not played it yet. At some point, I, I will. Maybe I'll also try to review it. 
There she is. Get after her. By the way, I do have the Hi, radio and image Welcome sharpening back. turned on at the lowest bay, lowest level. We'll be seeing you so in the drivers. Just it is an old enough game that I can see it benefiting from having a little bit. So, yeah. <laughs> Whoop. I'm not sure how that failed. There we go. W also works. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> what? I did that. Even my timing is just wrong. There we go. Guess I had to. Oh. Huh. Failed. I only just realized we're not casting shadows. I just knows that she was running. There's no shadow under her. This I forgot I forget how old this game was. So funny thing, when I was looking some stuff up, I did see somebody saying that there was a bug here. It was like from years ago, and it's like, oh well, you know, I mean <laughs> Okay, that's what it was. So that's what the issue was. <sighs> You're supposed to wall, wall run so that that's you're actually, you know, having forward momentum. You're not just going le uh, straight up. That's why. So that is still a thing where you can, you know, run straight at a wall. You climb straight up. You turn around, jump off. But that's not what you're supposed to do there. You're supposed to actually come at it at an angle. I, I'm, I'm going to get used to it eventually, but I don't want to put that onto control. Whoops. I don't want to put craft under control. It's that I think it's going to mess with me too much. That's like the ergonomics are for it to be on ship. Oh, I guess I do have a shadow. But she, it literally looked like Celeste. Yeah, she doesn't. She is not casting a shadow. Oh, man. Ah. Okay, good. It is... One thing that I do like is how they do Merc wants me to run you through some sparring. Design the game, you know, with that red highlighting so you basically know always where to go. All 
right, Faith. Let's run through some weapon disarms, just in case. Remember what I taught you, Faith. Isolate them. Fight them one at a time if you gotta fight. Okay, that's enough training, ladies. Gotta get to the real thing. Drake's got a job for yourself, so check in with him. Faith, let me know when you're ready to get going. See you later, Faith. Um, hang on. Ah, there it is. Uh, this is gonna be a short part, but it, it is kinda supposed to be. So, hopefully I can do this. I'm gonna Alt-Tab out. So I can stop the recording properly, start a new one, and come back to this screen and hit play game. Because I'm guessing that will hit the next chapter. But yeah, this is... Yeah, I just hit Alt-Tab. Okay, hasn't... Hasn't crashed. Um... I had a notification from the gaze tracking overlay that the aspect ratio had changed. Because the game decided, oh, you want 1680 by 1050? I don't know. At some point, I will have a monitor with a standard resolution. You know, it is also interesting, I'm looking at the the heart rate here, and it, there were actually peaks that I do kind of wonder if those do map to things in the game or not. Huh. Interesting. Because I don't know, I, I tend not to look through, back through that stuff later. Alright, so uh, yeah, I'm going to do, like I said, even though this is a little bit over 10 minutes, I'll stop it. Uh, so I have prologue, and then start uh, chapter 1. It's its own thing. So I shall see you then.